are you as frustrated with closing nights as I am? I mean, I get to a closing night and I go, oh my gosh, if only I'd opened with this show, right? I feel so, when I close a show, too often I go, I'm so embarrassed with what I opened with. How could I do that mm -hmm. when I finally discovered a lot of things in the run? Sometimes. You're sometimes I'm just glad to let the show go. Right. You know, and other times, you, sometimes the first show is the best show, strangely enough. Wow. Yeah, sometimes I think what happens, I think we're all wired differently as far as being performers. I think what happens is that depending upon the material, depending upon where you are inside yourself as a performer, that the show, opening show is probably the most interesting because it's the most nerve-wracking. And that nervousness sometimes translates well to an audience. Nervousness can create uh, a spark of connection with an audience. They can recognize it. Nervousness as in fear? Yeah. Yeah. It's a strange thing because sometimes you think audiences can sense fear. We know that for sure. Even when you're right. doing a role that you're pretending to be confident in and you can manufacture the, the confidence, still the audience will know. They will sense somewhere, like, you know, shark in the water. They can smell that bit of blood, you know, like two miles away. Right. And sometimes that fear can be exhilarating to an audience because it's alive, it's real. And they're sensing something that they're, they're feeling something that's connected to that person's fear. So is this the same uh, sort of visceral fear or indirect fear when the man or woman is walking on the tightrope above us without a safety net and I as an observer yes. am watching going, oh my gosh, look at them. That's right. That's right. So that is what Glenn Gould calls live performances, a blood sport. Oh yeah. And you're talking about the fear connected to the blood of the blood sport. And sometimes on opening nights that blood sport aspect is more prevalent and sometimes can work. Do you like opening nights? I hate them. But you just said sometimes they're the best performance, right? Yeah, it doesn't. It's, it's, it sounds contradictory. Um, and I think, you know, I think life is contradiction. <laughs> I, I think that that's the beautiful thing. That's why Hamlet, you know, you know what that's like. It, it's, this person is a walking contradiction. He changes so much, but in his aspect of change, he represents humanity. Right. And so people understand that not only is it, you know, the, the words are beautifully spoken, I mean, it's beautifully written for us to speak, but his humanity is wrapped up in every change of thought, every, uh, every way you thought he would go and didn't. And it's a, it, those things are human, and that's what the audience relates to. His doubt, his uncertainty, his desperation. Absolutely. Because his revenge. His revenge? You know, it's, it's his calculation, his loss. You know, it, it's... They relate to that aspect of humanity and that character. This is a good part of the conversation. Well, it's all good, but a good part of, because we both paid Hamlet, and I'm interested in talking about the two pearl because everyone will have a different Absolutely. experience of it. So fear in Hamlet, fear, uncertainty, desperation, revenge, anger, frustrated love. Mm -hmm. Is there any joy, humor? Let's not leave out humor because his mercurial humor, yes, with Rosengren oh, and Gildenstern and the... It's not humor, it's, it's, it's something more biting than that. It's, it's wit and sarcasm, dipped in sarcasm. You know, it's, it's the kind of stuff that just, it, it stings when you feel it. It's that kind of humor. Everything he says, you know, it's, his madness, his pretension has, a, has an edge. But again, it, this is interpretive. Your, mm -hmm. your Hamlet would be a, a, a different one as opposed to what what I did or any other actor did. It's and both characters, Edgar and Hamlet, feign madness for a purpose. Absolutely. Absolutely.